They say the truth will be your source of salvation. And hope is the cause for a migration. And it is through love we can understand our situation. And it is through heartache we learn to be patient. But patience only drives a man crazy. Like, how to remain patient when you're protesting peace and sprayed by the same police that are hired for your safety? I mean, the concept is baffling lately. Like, how do you remain patient when your father died, your mother died? In fact, you're the only one in your family survived. With the scars of life like a Palestinian kid, you throw a rock, they throw your life, and media says you're always wrong, and they're always right. See, they project your thought to a tube, the same tube that consumes your living room. And the only thoughts that we consume are the commercials we consume, so even though we're lied to, we're still amused because sham wow is an overpriced shag, yet we all call it cool. <laughs> we as a people are fixated. But let's get back to the basics. Conversation on pointless situation, referendum to their form of education. Change the channel on the same station, they form mathematical logic on their topic, but I can't correct the imbalance in their equation. They say Allah will not change the condition of the people until they change the conditions within themselves. So what have we changed to change the situation to uh, change the situation to only entice ourselves to ask Allah for help? Have we fought that hard from being so far apart? Have we expelled the hate and transitioned our heart while dragging us to the light, while outcasts in the dark? Have we fought for love, love without a doubt? So every time we hear screams, we shout when our people bleed. We announce when our people bleed. We denounce when our people free. We pounce when our people free. We pronounce to our souls like black people in chains. We are chained like, let our people go. But all I used to concern myself with was with murdering crowds. At least that's what heard from word of mouth, so I used to yell out murder, murder, and find my whole people get murdered out. But all I was asking for was revolution. And a revolution only comes to the masses that understand a movement. And a movement only comes to those who strive to win when others assume they are losing. And losing a chance to talk about the hate when it's greatness that we could be choosing. And choosing the right path will lead us to a solution. A solution that riddled up our body like pain. Believe us with a feeling so soothing, soothing like a blue and white flag whose meaning we abusing. Abusing a chance to be choosing a side that no longer needs to be losing. Never losing a moment to start a movement. A movement with the potential to become a revolution. A revolution with the beat of the drum like brr up up bum And no matter how the beat goes, it always sounds like good music. Now don't that sound amusing? But confrontation only causes constant concentration. But complication causes us to feel like constipation. <laughs> like a collage of companies corrupt the confidence of a country through the crossfire hate composing a congregation. Spitting kingsmen and commonplace to a place of complication we constantly consume in our own conflicts without compensation. Congress confides in a concept we should not coexist, so they condemn us to little to no consideration with these backhanded compliments. But consider the condescending conversation that they continually contemplate like the Ku Klux Klan, their conversation on the same concept that, lack, that compliments the lack of confidence in a country to be on that same AKKK common shit. But if the truth is told, the youth can grow. And it's not the youth that should start a revolution, it's those who know that should be held responsible. Because in the struggle, we need to be patient. Maintain our love in this heartache situation. Because through hope, we can migrate to salvation. And only Allah knows what level we may reach, but the truth is just a tool. The trick is to believe. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys.